Hi there, we're just going to run through the simple linear regression example that we've got on the website. So we're looking at these two variables, key stage 2 score and key stage 3 score. Um, the key stage 2 score refers to examinations which students take when they're about age 11 and the key stage 3 score to examinations they take when they're about age 14. So what we're going to do is try and build a simple linear regression model in which we can use the key stage 2 scores to predict the key stage 3 scores. Now the first thing we need to do is look at the relationship between those two variables. So we'll go to graphs, legacy dialogues, across and down to scatter dot. Just need a simple scatter because we've only got two variables and click define. Um, we'll get this options menu. Um, we'll put the outcome variable on the y axis. So that's the KS3 score in this instance. We'll drag that and drop it up there and we'll put the KS2 score on the x-axis, we'll drag that and drop that there. Just click OK to get the scatter plot. It takes a few seconds because it's a big data set, 15,000 students in the Lipsy data set. But here we go, this is our scatter plot. Now we can already see that there's, there's clearly a strong positive relationship between the two variables. As key stage 2 score increases, so does key stage 3 score. Um, if you do very badly in your key stage 2 exams, you're likely to do quite relatively poorly in your key stage 3 exams. Um, there are a few outliers which don't follow that trend as closely, um, just single cases, which would be worth examining more closely. Perhaps more worrying is this section here where people who've scored you know, at the very lowest possible end of the key stage 2 exams seem to be getting a range of scores at key stage 3. Now I imagine that that's actually probably just an error in the data collection. Um, it's probably because we didn't manage to get the key stage 2 scores for those particular participants, so they were scored at zero. Um, if that's the case, then it's best probably to remove these cases from the analysis because they'll, they'll bias the model. But generally we seem to have a strong linear relationship there and certainly one that we can model using regression.